PeggyBank.com was started, it was, was launched in March of 2011, so we're moving to our third year, so we're pretty excited about that. We believe this to be an enormous market. Uh, it's very simple uh, what Peggy Bank really does, is we're a consumer service that takes virtually any form of legacy media, and that is fairly broadly defined. Legacy media can be defined as photos, slides, negatives, films, videotapes, audio, you name it. We can transcode that and convert it to digital. And what makes us unique relative to the dozens of companies that are out in the marketplace just simply transcoding analog media to digital media is that we're not really producing any physical copies. In other words, a typical exchange would be you would take a videotape to a transcoding service and you would get a DVD in, you know, in exchange for that. And part of that uh, takes quite a bit of consumer education. In other words, our customers come back to us and say, well, what do you mean I don't get a DVD back? Well, we make the argument and say, okay, if you've given me, in some cases, you know, multiple hours, 20, 30, 40 plus hours worth of videotapes, and in exchange for that, I give you 30 hours worth of DVDs, my pushback to you is, what have you really gained in that transaction? My answer is really not much. You simply move the contents from one medium to another. So what Peggy Bank does is rather than produce physical media, we take all of that content that we've transcoded, we upload it to your personal account online, which we call your Peggy Vault, which you are then able to download those contents directly from your vault. You're able to do some rudimentary editing with them. You're able to um, email them to your friends and family that you care about. You're able to post them to any social networking site of your choice if that is something you're interested in doing. Um, and, or you can just sort of view them and stream them for yourself if that is your objective. Um, since this is a short presentation, they asked me to kind of quickly run through this. What this page is right now is the back end of Peggy Bank. So administratively, when I took this screenshot, um, it shows how many customers we had, and this was, I think, as a day or two ago. So we've actually, on customer number 13,105, you know, as of whenever that screenshot was, we're probably, you know, maybe a few hundred more from now. Um, what that little box icon means on the left, when somebody decides that they would like to engage with a business like ours, we sort of force them into making one of three decisions, which is how do you want to ship your materials to us? Our process is a little turned around, you know, from a typical e-commerce transaction. In other words, people need to send us their materials before we can actually begin the project. So what that means is they've ordered from us what we call our Peggy Box or our Safe Ship Kit. They will actually buy from us an empty box, and in that box comes all the collateral they need to safely ship their materials to us. Often there's some apprehension that goes with a customer about, oh my gosh, I'm you know, sending all of my precious irreplaceable memories to some company I've never heard of you know, halfway across the United States to Omaha. And so in this box, it's very sturdy. It comes with you know, uh, waterproof, static-free bags, bubble wrap, tape, like I said, everything to safely ship your materials to us. The other option could be they could simply print out a FedEx label from our website, put it on any packaging material of their choice. Um, the third option could be, you know, they could literally duct tape up their laundry basket, put a stamp on it, hope it shows up at our facility. And that does happen as well. And so once we receive those items, they show up at our facility, we do a full accounting of everything that's in that box. In other words, we take everything out, we count it up, that community sends a message back to the customer and says, hey, by the way, we received 15 videotapes, 200 photos, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Um, are you in agreement with what we received? And they, at that time, say yes or no. Yep, that looks consistent with everything that I sent you. And the customer can actually redline certain items at that point. They can say, gee, I didn't realize this was going to cost, you know, $1,000 or $2,000. You know, don't do this one now. That doesn't happen very often. They should be very aware that what they're getting themselves into financially, at least, um, before they even engage. But the point is, is that they have that option of doing that. And you can see that our... Um, uh, our price points are right across the board. You know, we, have, we do projects, you know, our average order size right now is hovering right around $191. Um, so what we do is expensive. Customers send us a lot of materials. Um, but anyway, so once they agree to uh, our terms and conditions and then pay for their order, and the terms and conditions they basically agree to are three things. One is that they assume a certain amount of risk that we could play back these materials and they could be damaged. You know, the tape could get eaten by the machine. Um, another option would be that, uh, another thing that they're agreeing to is they haven't sent us any copyrighted material, so we're not dealing with anything that has been copyrighted, namely like TV shows that they've recorded um, or professional sports or things like that. Uh, lastly, we don't deal in any adult content, so anything that um, shows up as adult, and it does, uh, we do not upload that to their vault. So uh, once they agree to that, they go ahead and pay for their order, and then it moves into production, um, and then 
their order gets completed out. And all orders, it depends upon the size of them, it takes roughly two to three weeks, uh, depending upon what it is for their order to get from a received point to a complete point. And they get a message back from us that says, congratulations, all of your uh, memories are now available online. Here are specific instructions on how to access them. And, you know, this is sort of, uh, you know, uh, another screenshot of the administrative site. You can see all the orders that you know, have recently been completed. And again, so our price points are right across the board. We'll do orders that are $1,000, do orders that are $15, might do orders that are just, you know, $5 or $6. But again, we're averaging right now, at least this month, around 191 which I'm very pleased about. And this is actually the deliverable that we're giving to the customer. So instead of that DVD copy, that box that we're talking about, this is the access that the customer gets. And this is actually a real screenshot of a real customer file. Um, so this customer had a handful of videos uh, that they could now, uh, they could now play. And so there they are, and once they click on them, or an individual one of them, we've actually embedded, um, you know, Facebook right in, well, I cut my Facebook off there, but anyway, so they can actually caption this information, they can organize these uh, files any way they wish, they can create albums, they can, uh, like I said, share to any social networking platform of their choice. Facebook happens to be most popular, so we actually embedded Facebook right into the Peggy Vault as well. Um, they can actually download these to their local machine, and um, edit them and then upload them again to whatever file sharing site they have of their choice. I've already gone past the six minutes. I'm sorry. So <laughs> um, that's sort of, you know, kind of, I, I try to keep that as brief as possible and I hopefully gave you a pretty good idea of what Peggy Bank does and I would be happy to answer any questions that you have at this point.